Hi everyone, so I've just hit 10,000 subscribers and that's why I got this award from YouTube. So, yeah, maybe not. So, they start giving awards at 100,000 subscribers. It's a silver button, then you have 1 million will be a golden button and then you have a new one. It's 10 million and you'll get a diamond award for that. So, but I, I'm quite far from that, so that's why I've made my own carbon fiber uh, YouTube button awards and I'll explain in this video how I've made everything to create this part that looks quite similar to the parts they are making. So it all starts with the infused part. So this is carbon fiber. This is real carbon fiber infused and if you don't know how or what I am talking about then you can just hit the subscribe button right here and start following me in my videos. So people from all over the world of, are watching my videos and I would really like to know where you guys are from. So leave a comment down below to let me know where you're from. So we'll start with the video. It's starting with the molds, with the part making, then the mold is made and then the part is made and then everything is finished. So I hope you enjoy and please leave a comment, subscribe, like and share if you want to. So have fun. Hi everyone, so in these videos I'll take you through the carving of the wood, finishing the plug to make the mold off, like in various stages, polishing and just preparing everything for the mold. So this is the steps I'll take you through, so the first part will be about the plug making, second part will be about the mold making and infusion of the carbon fiber uh, YouTube button and then I also show you how everything is finished. So everything starts with uh, just some wood, I'm just pushing it in. This is Easel, it's a software that is um, delivered with the Inventables X-Carve. So this is a carving machine and it's 2.5D so I'm not able to do 3D shapes yet except if I use some different software and so on. So the thing I did here is I just did various lines and then just cut deeper on the outside lines so I get something like a pyramid with uh, some lines in between so if I would engineer this a bit further I could just remove the slices you see that are still up in between and just do a tapered uh, thing down so this is a machine this is how it works and um, I'm extremely happy about it, it's very precise. I'll do some more videos about this if people are interested. Um, the thing here is I have the 24 volt spindle, the silent spindle, it's quite lacking in power now. and now there's a new one. Um, I'll be using the Dewalt on this. So <laughs> this is a cool feature, they just ask if everything well went well and of course everything went well so um, just pushing the button everything went well so now it's time to remove uh, the piece of wood and this is the result so this was my first complex carve I did on the X carve so now I'm just sanding everything smooth so this is the result like you can see all the angles are pretty well good um, and then now it's just trimming all around the parts to remove it and it, this is what it looks like after some sanding so the pyramids like I was telling about are more visible now and now it's time to add some bondo just to um, smoothen the edges around and create a nice uh, rounded chamfer around it so I'm using polyester bondo and I'm just applying it and please don't be mad, <laughs> I'm terrible at doing this, so um, I'm making quite a big mess and it's just more time sanding for me, but it will, it worked out quite well, so it's just some, uh, a bit more sanding, so, um, so now I'm sanding everything off, I'm quite happy with the bando as well, it's quite soft, so it's, it's going quite fast, and this is what it looks like after, after the first coat. So this is after the second coat and um, 
this is the way it looked like and so now it's ready to get the ceiling on top and that will be with the epoxy coating resin so it's it's a resin from easy composites it's made for skinning parts like some people might have seen the Iron Man masks I did uh, in another video if you didn't just check my youtube channel um, and it's it's a thicker resin and I'll do a video about it later on uh, so keep looking at my youtube channel to find the updates so you just brush it all on um, then you just let it drip off so that's why it was put on a block and then you just let it cure and in around three to four hours you can go for a second coat or you can wait a bit longer so this is the result still some bubbles it's probably something to do with the wood so um, it's might be a reaction with moist or something but it's it's not a big problem because I was going for two coats so I'm just sanding everything a bit smooth with a 320 grit then I clean everything with the easy composites mold cleaner just to be sure um, not to have like um, reactions you don't expect or want uh, with the next coat coming on top and also it's it's a quite good degreaser so for the second batch I added some color pigments um, I've chosen for the red color uh, because we're talking about a YouTube button so I I was thinking about red so um, now I'm applying the second coat and as you can see the more coats you will apply the better it will look so this is after the second coat and now you get a real gloss finish So now it's back to the sanding just to get uh, the mirror gloss finish we're looking for. So I'm using a 600, gra um, 600 um, grit and then up to the polishing compound. So I'm using the fine compound here from Polar Shine and just applying some... Um, some polishing all around the piece so as you can see there are still some defaults in it but it's minor so I will only take a few buttons out of this mold so it's not a big problem to have some sanding to do after it I will also show you in the second part uh, to sand a bit of the parts of the mold as well so here I'm just tracing something around um, just to know where to position it so this is for another tutorial I was working on two tutorials at the same time so that will be a tutorial coming online soon as well so I'm just drilling some holes uh, applying some double sided tape just to have a nice um, grip onto the part for drilling and so on so now I'm just positioning it And now I will be pre-drilling uh, through the parts to make sure it's not shattering into pieces or more. So adding the screws, everything is tightly against the mold, so that's against the base plate I mean, to make a good mold. So and now I'm just sealing the edges with some modeling clay and now we're ready for the molds. So in the second part I'll take you through the mold making, the demolding, the preparing of the parts, vacuum bagging, infusion and finishing of the parts and the frame. So if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and share this video. And don't forget to follow me on other social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat.